They're urging people to be on the lookout for scams concerning those incoming stimulus checks. Some receive them today. Now, experts say the pandemic is the perfect opportunity for people to make their move. Local 22's Courtney Adelman has more on those potential scams and how you can avoid them. Attorney General T.J. Donovan says scammers will use the pandemic to take advantage of Vermonters. Well, anytime there's a crisis, it's always an opportunity for people to try to scam uh, others. And more so when it has been widely advertised that people are going to receive money as they're going to receive with the stimulus payments and checks that are coming. Donovan says if the IRS has your direct deposit account number, then you will be getting the money straight to your account. If they do not have your account number, then physical checks will be sent, but not until May. Right now, uh, the check is not in the mail. So if you get anything in the mail saying, hey, pay us money, in order to get your stimulus payment or you owe us money for back taxes or some sort of garnishment, that is a scam. The AG says the IRS will not contact you during this time. And the IRS isn't going to call you. They're not going to send you a check. They're not going to text you. They're not going to email you. You'll just see it in your bank account. Another way scammers are trying to cash in during the pandemic is through social media. According to the Better Business Bureau of Upstate New York, social media usage has gone up by 40% since the pandemic started. In Vermont, where schools have been canceled, and in New York, where schools are on hold, people have been posting senior pictures in support of the class of 2020. They're seeing their friends' high school photos. They think, what a great way to reconnect with people. But what you're doing is you're giving away the name of your high school, the year you graduated. Melanie McGovern says recent social media trends encourage people to post personal information, making it easier for hackers to access private accounts. Anytime you set up a bank account, a credit card, they ask you for security questions. What are your security questions usually? Um, you know, the name of your oldest niece, uh, the, the make of your first car. That was another one that was going around. Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News, Burlington.